make it a one possession game. Nebo slips it inside. Oh, like a nailed on charge. Baldwin. He's limited. Goes with double figures. Starters for McCarby. Colson gets the start. As does Baldwin. Well, good communication from Colson to help him out. Win once again, not a good miss from Billy Barron, who's now 0 4 from that. When does Jesse Kavi just come back with Lavano Vitala? Toby plays with four fouls. Great strip. Martin. Wade Baldwin to Roman Sorkin. Baldwin attacking the free throw line, dumps it to the back door. Cut. Miritich, and he was doing well to disrupt Higgins there. He was a good defender. Way Baldwin is Darren Hilliard looking for the three. Just hey, one of the big off season pickups for McCarvey. That was Way Baldwin. And goes off the glass. Sadaransky replacing Nick Kalatis at the point guard position. Kalatis, of course, joined. Move with the dribble. As Baldwin gets to mid-range, lets it fly down. Josh Nebo, another one, averaging nearly 10 rebounds a game in his last three games. And half of those are offensive, so he's giving his team another powerful weapon. Against Real Madrid, if they can make a contribution, they can keep this game interesting. But they're going to have to play some... ...hosted by the home team. Josh Nebo offloads and sets a solid screen. Bonzi Colson wide open in the corner. Pump fake, two dribbles. And our P announcer calls it say magnifique. Magnificent. It's a triple for Lighting. Yeah, Brown uses his body well. He'll find Colson and Colson straight. McCarvey by a deuce. Josh Nebo with the turnover. Slam. turnover. Number eight for Bologna, first of the second half. Brown, guarded by Hackett. That'll be a good matchup in the fourth quarter. Hackett, an excellent on the ball defender. Nebo, wow. Keep bringing the magic. Milos now with 11 points. In the trees and converts. There's your five on the floor for Maccabi. Upstairs! Come from the free throw line. Also two of four from the field. Baldwin looking for some payback. Come and say, hey, Coach Abradovich sends his regards. Baldwin finds Hilliard. Hilliard. He's, he's got two fouls. One of them intentional. Monaco cash in their chips. Another three. Colson goes old school. We are going to see an awful lot of that one top the Nebo slam. And then the other. Vesely converts his first basket of the night. Brown, the little. So the pace of this game is matching what the visitors would want, but they need to get tougher defense than that. For both teams. You can see a lot of that tonight. First time of the year. Brown finds Hilliard, his first time. The classic, what they call now, the stretch. Big man. Poitras. We're on the downside of the first half. Less than five minutes till the break. Hilliard finds Poitras. Poitras must as well. Brown. Working for McCarby. Working against Evans. Spins one way, spins back the other and makes the jump. 
2-1 zone press from Asvel. They'll settle back into, right now it looks zone, but they'll come out and play man from it. Bacalameo's no good! Brown now in no hurry, nursing a seven-point lead. One-on-one -on -one with Hackett. Double team, which leaves Cohen open. Statistically as well, going into this one, shooting at less than 30%. Doesn't look like they're going to improve on that very much today. That'll drop. Brown with the last seven points for Maccabi after Nebo put the first four up. And that's Martin. Well, this game has certainly got a level of intensity. You rarely see in the second game of a double week. Both teams are really ringing there best performances. Brown can't get the layup to go. Though already. Well, he has been dominating the glass in recent weeks in particular. Baldwin swings it far side, three-point shot. Eight points to tie level with Colson. These fans feeling like the fight back is happening. But Josh no quarter. Baldwin. Martin down to Colson, back again to Baldwin. Open man in the corner. Martin shoots for three. Mathis up front. No switch. They're just going straight with that matchup. Meanwhile, Deshaun Pierre has been guarded by Lorenzo Brown, and that's something that Fenerbahce is looking to take advantage of as he's got on the score. He's had five points in a row, but Cohen has been exceptional off the bench. Out the final few minutes of the first half after picking up his third foul. Di Bartolomeo, Nebo trying to create some room for his teammate on the perimeter. Di Bartolomeo. The rebound, got it over the half court stripe and then found a crease to attack. That's Baldwin on a flare screen. The first lead of the game, they're up by one. So Lorenzo Brown offloading to Jake Cohen's team are down by 11. The Bartolomeo to Lorenzo Brown. No travel, Lorenzo Brown offloading the basketball before he came back down to work. And put 20 on the board. This confirmation of what is a 10-2 scoring run. The only two points that Milano scored coming from free throws by Shabazz Napier during this purple patch. Jake Cohen off the iron, what a rebound on the offensive glass by Bonzi Colson. Bonzi Colson with his fifth board of the game. Brings his team back to within 15. But now they need a stop. Lorenzo Brown <laughs> for the low post for his first deal of the night. Forcing Milan into just their sixth turnover. But again, it sees them unable to complete their equation of a stop and a score. What a feed from Wade Baldwin. First for three-pointer. Well, lead by nine points to seven. Baldwin whips to the corner. Brown made his last three. Misses this one. Well, the shooting woes of Wade Baldwin. He's two of eight from the field tonight, including all three misses from beyond the arc. But he makes no Now in possession. Works around. Finds Martin. Screen set from Nebo. Martin for three. Jarrell Martin. But they have yet to lead. They tied things up at two points apiece, but then an 8 0 run by McCarby put them up by eight. Baldwin do something to get his team back into contention. They're down by 18. Three points are launched. Four minutes before Partizan's first score, and they do it on their eighth shot. Niba held Maccabi to just four points in the half so far. Maccabi at the foul limit. Lorenzo Brown. Brown takes the outside shot. Adams down the floor. 
eight the lead for McCarvey. Jalen Adams, the ball handler. McCarvey at four fouls already in this quarter as well. Colson on the side step. Bartolomeo, McCarvey looking to get the offense moving again off the back of Coach Katashi's timeout. De Bartolomeo tying low in knots, still doesn't get the shot away though. Baldwin will from the elbow. Elba back within seven. So off the back of the timeout, Baldwin knocks down a two. Elba says, see the two. I'll raise you to a three. He loves to get his feet set, get it down, and get that shot up as he's one of the best three-point shooters in this league, sitting right now at 42% from outside the line. Look at the quick ball movement. The way round 16, the last game for both of these teams in the Turkish Airlines Euro League in 2022. McAbee on the attack, defending a five-point lead. Jalen Adams started so brightly in this game. Chased by Mitzitz to the corner. Brown feeds Nebo. Now the final few minutes of the first half after picking up his third foul. De Bartolomeo. Nebo trying to create some room for his teammate on the perimeter. De Bartolomeo. Baldwin. Down the baseline, caught up with by Webb, couldn't finish on the reverse, grabs the loose ball, Martin for three. His best form, not just tonight, but against Maccabi back in Munich as well. And the EuroLeague rookie gets in the scorebook for the first time tonight. It's a really good pass with Sor Watara doing his best to try and slow down Brown. A great pass from Brown. His first shot of the game. Jaron Blossom gave and Monaco have the first double-digit lead of the game. Baldwin. Martin for three. More of a team-orientated game without him. Coach Abranovic stressed the need for James to fit into that on his return. So, certainly showing the best version of Mike James now. So there's Lorenzo Brown offloading to Wade Baldwin. Josh Nebo coming to set repeated screens in quick succession. Get it back out to Rafi Menko. No, I wasn't far from getting a piece of that either. Here's Baldwin. Nebo back to Baldwin, Baldwin back to Nebo, Beal. Nebo with that won't go unnoticed in this place. Here's Brown again. Nice pass, Nebo again, top of the key. No, that won't go. There are certain players you could just sit back, turn the volume off, and watch them play. Just have the camera focused on. Clyburn is one such gem. Bartle Mayo now. 14 points though, game's leading scorer. Drag this team back into this one. Final two minutes of the first half. Start counting minutes down as Hollins misses. Nothing off ball movement. Only three assists for FS as a squad. All of their buckets seemingly hard earned and off individual brilliance rather than ball movement. And Jarrell Martin lets it fly. He's top scorer this season. 15, the margin from 18 down. But they've got to show they can get some defensive stops. Cohen lurking on. The Cannot make the left. Back Back-to-back -back buckets for him. He goes to 14 points. Joint leading scorer in the game. Nice pass from Ho Cohen. Robokin with his first triple of the night. He goes to five points. The score is incorrect. It's 47-42. Carby ahead of Fanabache. Sorkin and one. Menko to Brown to Sorkin. Menko takes the three. His team back to within one.
Ball out to the corner. Three-pointer off the his third three-pointer of the night. So Lorenzo Brown, will it wrap around feed to Wade Baldwin, down by four. So Jalen Adams kicks out to Bonzi. Colson for tonight, he's over two from downtown. But the extra possession secured by Panathinaikos in the effort on the offensive boards, resulting in a bucket on that second chance point. John DeBartolo. Maccabi fans trying to increase the decibels here in Tel Aviv. Their team on the attack, wraparound pass. And Zaga is green this season. He makes his team's first made three-point shot of the night. Brown, oh, just beautiful. He's the shortest player on the floor, but he has no fear going to the basket. It's his first score, Zaga is within a point. First quarter winding down. Brown off the dribble. Finds Nebo. Nebo. Baseline. Menko. Reverse layup and rapid Menko. Of over 11,000 Maccabi fans. And have the first possession. Brown. Finds Colson. Baldwin. Baldwin really has added an edge for this Maccabi side here in the second. There, according to my sources, that Paso still hasn't been able to play for Savannah Vezda. Midrange jump shot, but a good decision from Coach Katas to come out in a in a zone defense just to basically unsettle the timeout of Coach Parker. Backdoor cut to Colson. What a great for McCarvey. They're in possession. 51-50. Brown now working against Brasdikis. Brown off the dribble. Works his way in the paint. Colson back door. Misses the lab. Fenerbahce with momentum. They trail by 10. They got it to two. And they've closed the gap to four points, having trailed by 14. The perfect start to the second half for them. Lorenzo Brown gets the offense moving. 16 for Corey Walden, having one of the best performances of his season. Brown darts past three defenders. But how about that? The call has been made and it stands. Remember, once the ball. Has to pass this apex, it is considered a goal 10. He's pulling up from the wing, Lorenzo Brown. And seven without a miss for Kevin. Baldwin takes the early three. Brown. Here is the captain. Cohen. Ooh, Lorenzo Brown dropped it, then the burst down the baseline. Kalazakis on Brown. Lee against Walt Baldwin. Brown finds Sorkin, finds Cohen, and Joe, oh my word, how does Jake something have an escapade? Kenneth Michael's back with the lead at six. Jake Cohen. Looking to do something about it. 11, it's far from finished. But they do have momentum back. They're not giving up on this game yet. And there's a long way to go. Darren Hilliard this time. He'll take on the three. And he makes it. their heads. McCarvey looking for the tie or the lead now. From the elbow, it's good.
Nebo sets the pick for DiBartolo Mayo. Skipper knocks down the three. It's either take a bad shot or have a shot clock violation. Only four turnovers for Panthinaikos tonight. Off the glass, Mike James. We talked about how Lorenzo Brown gets his buckets. Mike James gets into the lane far more free. Left an abundance of daylight for Parish Lee to operate in, and he connects from downtown. 38% from downtown this campaign. His team lead by three. Corner three points are in this spot. And his team have a two point lead. Wade Baldwin. Nice catch by Josh Niebuhr. Now he's out of block. McCarvey could come close to sealing it with a score here to make it a three possession lead. Di Bartolo Mayo, a captain. Sheep again for uh, Sorkin. Yeah, this really is turning into a team effort from Maccabi, who are looking for their first lead in an awful long time. They jumped out to a 7 2 lead right at the start. Hi, surpassing the eight points that he posted on his debut in round one. 16 points is the advantage. Fenerbahce doing an outstanding job of exploiting the space that exists in the matchup D, being employed by the visitors. Poitras looking to back down to Sean Pierre, spins his way baseline, gets a one-handed scoop shot away. Within and nine. All four of Sigma's points coming in this period. Better late than never. Is it too late, though? That's the question. Menko from the strike. Over the piece. That's five turnovers unanswered from Zalgiris. They're still in this game. That's the worrying thing if you're Maccabi. You should have put this game to bed by now. You led by as many as just They put the ball in his hands more often. Three of three. 100% from behind the three-point line. Comes the third. Counters playing double figures. Foul and one. As we go into crunch time, the final two minutes of the fourth period. Brown finds Martin. Real Martin muscles his way through, gets a long shooting percentage on the league this season. They also make more threes than anybody else, just under 11. So Maccabee are going to have to either stop them or match them. Colson tries to do just that, and he answers. Interesting side note to that, Maccabee score more two-point field goals per game than any other team in the EuroLeague this season. Huge cheer goes up as Josh Nebo touches the ball back to Wade Baldwin. Lorenzo Brown out there on the court as well. And here's Austin Hollins. And now here is... And he continues to have... Here's Lorenzo Brown. Five-point lead has opened up here. Jarrell Martin... We'll give it back to him. And now Adams will pick that up. Nicely defended, has to send it back. No pass available. So Adams will have to take it on. And it won't go, but it will get... And the one that the bench of Bascogne will be most pleased with is Vanya Marinka, which he's been hounded with injuries the last couple of seasons. But tonight, he's having a great performance so far. And to have Vanya Marinkovic, the way he's shooting the ball tonight, out in the corner, wide open. That's painful as well as he hits another three. The streak is at Basconia. 20-something games in a row with getting at least one steal. Won't have any one steal better than that given to him because they right get a jump hook. Got a nice, easy tempo to this game. And Baldwin's got that well, extend some man to man pressure up the floor. The little leaner in the lane. That time, the long two for the instant release after he knocked down a three straight away off the. 10 0 scoring run. If Maccabi don't get a basket here, look for a timeout. The runner... Four points for him. And his team have an early lead. 
Baldwin tries to find Nebo with the Brown chased by Edwards finds Martin feet set misses the three Ben Martin Yunas helping out Elia Kobo guarding the ball Slam dunks and once again the fans energized here at the Sal Gaston Medicine it's a one possession game after that terrific take to the rack but then how about that for well these teams are playing at a rate of knots don't need the shot clock at all but they do get Still man-to-man -man defense from Basconi. Served them well tonight. Although McCarby's offense has got gets ever closer. The offense has slowed down a little bit here in the fourth for Basconia. But the question is not if they're gonna get to 100, it's how far past 100 they're gonna get. Boy thrust. Pesado stay with his second three-pointer of the night. Joint high scorer in the game with nine. Bonzi Colson for three and he strings it. Sigma scoreless 0 of 3 from the floor. Roman Sorkin up against Ben Lammers. He's got a big job to do on the defensive end now and he does it well. Into the corner to Bartolo Mayo. Welcome return to the Menorah Miftachim with the layup of the assist from Mitic. Jump shot off. Final two minutes of the third quarter. Di Bartolo Mayo for three. Offensive rebound. James. Don't forget Diallo for Monaco. Lukavi have got Brown. Baldwin. Oh. Milos Teodosic. It's an edge about Teodosic this week. Saw it against Berlin. We're seeing it again here. Although there. Adams drives, he's fouled on the way to the basket. And you have to repeat the point that if you're Maccabi, you keep doing what you do. Bologna, relax. The chances of you making the playoffs are slender, so try to be... Four enjoy. points in the game already. All four points. Four. The visiting side, one take to the rack, one pull-up jump shot, which was points in the game that his first made two-pointer. His strokes looking good. Nice finish. Up oh, by five now. Baldwin around Motta Yuna slips it into Poitres to the line now. Monaco by five. Baldwin, away from Dante Hall, Hillier, over the top of Diallo. Flurry of triples. Monaco have actually padded their lead by a point. Brown gets it back from Di Bartolomeo. Hollins sends it back to Brown. Still plenty of time on the shot clock here. Brown looks, checks, uh, faked it. And then will it go? Type of contact that occurs when you're battling for position on the board, but the call goes in the book. Bryant Dunstan called for his first foul. The bottle of catching it. Olsen on the floor for the home side as we go into this final 10 minutes. Under pressure, Baldwin collects that. Di Bartolomeo will take on one from the point. One of his most, his most experienced player on the bench he's got in the building. Jake Cohen makes his first appearance tonight. Hilliard. To Adams, who's been so quiet, and there he gets it. Monte Colton in the low post. Pass makes its way to Lorenzo Brown. Open three points. Well, as I said, if you didn't get a chance to watch the game against Real Madrid, go back and watch that game tape. He is just poetry in motion on offense. Elliot fouled in the act of last season. The man who carried them to an historic playoff appearance in their debut year in the competition. 
got a bit more help this season. He's learning to play more as part of a team. Right now, the trail by 11. And Maccabi, after an explosive first quarter, slow down a little bit here at the beginning of the second. But not for long. Both coaches will be keen to see their players establish good rhythm early on. And Lorenzo Brown looks to do that for Maccabi with a long two-point shot, which is off the mark. Just got tighter and tighter as this game has worn on. Brown against Paola. Brown finds Nebo, who was challenged and challenged. Lays it up and in. In the battle of the boards, Maccabi winning it 19-16. Martin made one from there already. That one just up. Got a sweet stroke. He makes his second triple. He goes to eight points personal. The lead changes hands once more. Cohen looking for his point guard. There he is. There's the high screen. The Bartolomeo jabs around mid and then he is. Maccabi trailing by a deuce. You say victory for Maccabi tonight, and they could finish as high as what a beautiful thing the Turkish Airlines Euro League is. Round 34, the final game of the regular season, and it's got the intensity of a championship game. Brown finds Nebo. Nebo! Di Bartolomeo will handle point guard duties here now for Maccabi, the team captain. Oh, come Cohen was open, dive into the basket, guarded by Akobo. He's got a mismatch inside if they want to use it. Yeah, one pass to Brown, who's open like church on Sunday. And I think that just about typifies the Knights offensively for AS Monaco, who are now an abject two of 22 from downtown. Ah, nice slip by Martin, the pass just off the mark. Have to keep their composure. Yeah, nice job. Second time. Short lived, it was their largest of the game. They're still leading by a dozen. So a team offloading to Hilliard. And Ghazi defending Lorenzo Brown. Lorenzo Brown rotates it to his captain. Oh, this is absolutely. Smoke it as Walters feeds the giant man for point six and seven. Brown looks to answer quickly. Knocks that one down. By and by four after Maccabi closed a six point deficit to one. Baldwin bypasses those in the center. De Bartolo. Four right out. Fabian Corsair is getting his first action of the night. Bartolomeo finds Nebo. Nebo fouled in the act to shoot it. Anik! Leading score in the game with 18. Finds Nebo. Backdoor cut. Brown behind the hat back. Sorkin gets the layup to go. Big trouble again. Baldwin and Di Bartolomeo starting on the floor with Martin Menko and Nebo. Baldwin with the pass, Nebo throwing it down. Baldwin down the lane. And here again is Wade Baldwin, the Basconia player last season. Shining with Maccabi this year, he finds Brown. He can't hit the three. And the rebound. Back into the game, Wade Baldwin calling for a screen. So Hilliard out to Wade Baldwin, still looking for his first three. And Final looks. minute of the third period, Maccabi 61, Real Madrid 62. Brown working off the dribble, Hilliard now. 
Steps back. Misses the three. Sorkin. Martin will come and set the screen. On Brown. There we are at eight. Colson sets the screen for Debar de Mayo for the win. And Down the final stretch. They've got only 75 seconds now. Down seven. Two free three-point attempts, but did not hesitate when given that isolation against Lorenzo Brown. His team lead by four. And the three ball working really effectively for Panathinaikos. Two, two Olympiacos, so... See what happens with the floater missing. A big offensive output from Valencia in this first half. A 10 to 2 run up to 47 points. Three and a half minutes plus still to play until half time. Adams now with the responsibility. This game isn't going to plan for Maccabi. They want to come in here, get an easy win. Asvel are out of the playoff picture. Asvel playing with great pride tonight. They've got that eight game losing streak. They're trying to put pain to a win over Basconia. That game in Belgrade, 15 points from Darius Thompson for Basconia in a losing effort, but that's just going to send reverberations around the league as the playoff picture. Defensive intensity, which is what Coach Katash wanted of his team. Oh, what a play. Go get it. Real Madrid, four assists already. So they lead by four. Colson, three ball. Is Maccabi 80, Real Madrid 75. Four minutes left in regulation. Brown weaves his way off the dribble. Colson jab steps. And his first shot, 11 is the margin, 14 has been the largest. Joe Martin, experienced NBA -er. Lorenzo Brown, who's had time in the NBA as well. Shoulder to shoulder, driving. Yeah. Playing for Maccabi. Adams now. They use that pick and roll once more. This time Adams keeps it and converts. Opponent of the game to win. Has Monaco turned the tide in this series? Baldwin. Up against James. Martin gets it against Mota Yunas. Tries to force him back to the basket. Another offensive rebound. Second half of the playoffs underway. Maccabi come out with Brown, Nebo, Cohen, Baldwin, and Colson. Same way they started the game. Baldwin. Brown somehow kept his dribble. Player of the game now. Ten-point lead re-established. Colson trying to make something happen. It's a manufacturer. A 72% shooter on the season, 65% for his career. Oh, Hines, three of six from the strike tonight. His team is still facing a double-digit deficit. Down by 10, Lorenzo Brown shaking off Kevin Pangos, John DeBartolomeo. In the locker room because the action was underway, and Maccabi with zero intensity allowing Nick Kalathis to waltz his way down the lane. Fenerbahce scored, secured the offensive rebound, and Scotty Wilbekin drilled his third three-pointer of the night. One time, Razio Farm, all man, comes up with a big triple. DeBartolomeo to Brown. Baldwin again. Oh! With an important touch there, off the glass. Here he is again. Di Bartolomeo hustling around. Baldwin, clock is ticking. He's going to take another one. Can't get out of here. Oh, the wrong way. Ponit Kamusta, eight points in the game. Two of three from two-point territory. Team down by five. Corner, Jay from the team. Martin. 
Bonte. Bartolo Mayo. Three point shot too long. Bottle him out. Nebo. Now Baldwin. Now the action happens for Maccabi. Nebo. The bottle of Mayo. Dumps to Nebo who goes with the finish. Four nice fouls ball. for him. Just four points. Baldwin continues. Down by 11. Lots of time left. But Asasha Bradovic inquired at half time can they make some shots? Two of 20 from three-point territory after that three-ball made by Mike James. Between them, they are now six of ten. And the team have the lead once more. 51-50, FS ahead of Maccabi. Debar Lameo once more. Can't convert that big rebound by... Just free throw shooting, letting them down. Eight of 14 for them tonight. Bonzi Colson on the curl, no foul call. Three pointers made, netting 2.5 three pointers per game. Drills his first field goal attempt since round 23. His team backed within a single digit deficit, they're down by nine as the pull up J from the. The defense of Madrid has been the story of this first 20 minutes. Six turnovers from Maccabi. Olympiakos are cruising right now at home. They will lock in first place. So Real Madrid right now, playing for second. Travel. Talking. The Bartolomeo, no travel on that reception. Momentarily, he might have taken too many steps. Wade Baldwin straddling the three point line. Hilliard one on one with a Kobo. Pull up three is landing. And then the forced turnover. De Bartolomeo to Hilliard. It's to place to the basket. it out off the back of the timeout Lorenzo Brown Martin little hesitation it's been a rather turbulent season so far for him Tend to favor at times very much capable of being a bit We're underway. Final regular season game for both these teams. Final 20 minutes of the regular season for both these teams. Next time you see them, it will be the playoffs. Brown. Oh. Trailing by four, in possession. What a game this has been. Sorkin didn't have the confidence to make that pass to Hilliard. And then last time out, two weeks ago, to Savannah's Vesta. Brown, got it by Hunter, Sorkin, passes to Colson in the corner for three. Three, Fenerbahce 12, first quarter action here in round 27, Baldwin. The Is any St. Petersburg, I tell you what, the winners in Tel Aviv a lot nicer. Then in St. Petersburg, great defense there by the... Former University of Kentucky player, Brown, step back shot on the way for the travel. Nebo goes out and ties. Got to get the threes flying. Here's Hilliard, short. Play Tika Tel Aviv, having suited up for them in the 1920, the 2019-2020 season. So Poitras. Yeah. 
So Bocaridis defending the inbounder. It's John de Bartolomeo. He keeps the dribble alive. Lorenzo Brown setting screens. They hang it up from... Ponzi Colston fakes the three, gets into the lane. And Maccabi are going to have to get some points on the board if they're going to make this game competitive. It's simple. Sorkin, nice move. Inbound to Sorkin. A lot of second unit players on the floor, but not Baldwin. To the elbow side of the halftime break. For Basconia, Baldwin, once again. Again, Baldwin just going. Of course, no player you ask him will have ever knocked the ball out of bounds. A double team again for Basconia. And what that's doing is create a terrible start to the third period for Maccabi. They're not making any. In rows in the deficit. Lorenzo Brown. Oh, Colson Travis. Sorkin finds Baldwin. Baldwin to the basket, Lee. Jake Cohen checks into the game for Maccabi Tel Aviv. And of course, Wade Baldwin, welcome back, Baldwin. And that's the shot that they need to win this game. And a couple, you're gonna see a little bit more continuity in that offense of Maccabi Tel Aviv. Brown, one on one now, he's got an easy look at it. They are an absolute handful. We're all square, 36 points to each side. Renzo Brown trying to draw a foul, does not do so. Instead, he finds the bottle of Mayo, who will play with Asvel last year. Of course, Monaco are not technically in France. They are an independent principality, but the club play in the French Basketball League. So those are the numbers for the Wawu Cabaret. Game earlier this week. Nice catch on the cut, and then Josh Nebo. So approaching the halfway stage of the final quarter, they hang it upstairs, and it's a downtown. Ten points and seven assists. Double-digit lead restored for Fenerbahce. They're up by ten. Nice catch on the inside and a tough finish. Holland, top 10 in score. They got two scorers, Maccabi, in the top 10 in Euroleague. Brown and Baldwin. Baldwin's the leading scorer tonight. He gets the silly technical and he goes out while the end line. Last season, the Lichtenberg's Panavacic. Lithuanian club, Hilliard comes in for Maccabi. It's good. Beautiful cut, pump fake. And of Maccabi, an off court leader, trying to get the team back from a double digit deficit. And in stark contrast, Maccabi played T. Katel Aviv a perfect eight of eight from the stripe. So off the eye, what the call was. It's Maccabi play Tika Tel Aviv basketball. So Wade Baldwin from the free throw line. His three benches. Oh, he's been reset to 12. Maybe the shot did draw Ryan. So it was a 14 when Austin Hollins grabbed the offensive board. Wade Sorkin. Baldwin. 
Colson and Poitras and Di Bartolomeo have put in. Here's Jake Cohen. Waiting for Adams to try and join the three point party. Top scorer for McCarby, second in assists and steals. Brown, second in points, first in assists. And a flash. Lorenzo Brown will inbound. 9.06 remaining. McCarby down four. Deep to Colson. Brown comes to take the handoff and to work with Colson on the pick. Colson wanted to pass to the corner. Takes it to the elbow. Suffocating by in defence again. Di Bartolomeo has to take it off balance. Sorkin back in after his recharge. Di Bartolomeo with the inbound. Hollins back to Sorkin. Back to Baldwin. Sorkin with the chip. That'll be sent outside. Hollins has got some space for the three and that one. Back it. Undersized. Two metres six. But he gets up quick and with power. Hilliard has it. Tied the momentum. And now, this club's got a basket here, this possession. Di Bartolomeo with a clean look. Off the mark. 